All right, so we bought a truck without a bed liner. I feel everybody needs a bed liner. Part of the bed protection package comes with those nice fender wells. That keeps us from looking all nasty. I never thought I would need inner fender wells on the rear. But the new Silverados tell you that you do because they're a nice feature. So here's the part number of the fender liners. So what I'm gonna do is get a knife, a screwdriver, get some sort of apparatus here. And I'll open this up so we can see these fender wheels. And here they are. This is the hardware kit. Looks pretty basic to me. Don't know which side is which, but we will see. So what I'm going to do is uh, install one side and then I'll tell you the do's and don'ts and the, the how's and the who's and the what's. And then we'll install the other side. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to get to it. All right, the super organized person that I am, I have divvied up left and right side. Found some instructions here. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue on and I'm gonna start with the left side and then we'll go from there. All right, so I got the left side in. It wasn't bad at all. Did learn some things. It's definitely a really nice addition. So see the truck with it. Here's the truck without it. It's just, the newer trucks are just missing it. They need it back there. Let's go back. See, it's just a nice addition. Okay, so what did we learn here? We did learn a couple things. Um, so for starters, you take these seven clips here. And you need to put them in. Put the other side in vertical, so I will do the same on this side. Okay, so some areas that they don't talk to you about. You need to remove this retainer right here. So to do that, you gotta pull off both of these and then you just pry that out. And then on this side, you do the same, but for this retainer. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have to set the camera down for that though. All right, so I pulled off the two screws back here and you can see the retainer right here. That just needs to come through. So I squeezed it, and then I'm just gonna pry it out. All right, so here it is popped out. Only this one. Unbolt both of these so that you can pull this away a little bit. Then on the front, it's just this middle one. And that clip just slides right up. So we got all those push, pushed in, the fender well, so it's the big end goes forward. And by big end, you can see that that's big, little, big, little. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so then I will, I will work this into place and get back to you when it's set. All right, it's set in place. 
So there's a little cutout right there for that one. See that one's got the threaded retainer on it already. So we already pulled that, we did that good. This one, I started the screw just slightly to kind of hold it. Let's pull it out. You can see the threaded. So I set the little screws in place. You want all those set because then you know you're close. So I'm going to put in all of the screws. Just start them all by hand. So that way it's centered and then I can tighten everything down. All right, so I got all the screws in place. So on the top, set that one in. So then these other ones go at that one and right in that one. These ones are tough. So I like to cheat and use an electric ratchet. So we will wait on that. So then you just tighten these up. But it's best to have the ratchet on tighten. Okay, so then you can just tighten these up. So when it's getting near the end, I'm releasing on the lever there, so it's not like full torque jamming it in. You don't want to break these. socket and we'll get this wrapped up all right so these are just self-threading trying to get the right angles here That's it. Then it is in. Much nicer. Much, much nicer. And then today is Saturday, so on Wednesday I go in for the bed liner. So we'll see how that goes and I'll let you know.